Introducing RoboMower from Friendly Robotics, the simplest, safest, and most convenient way to maintain your lawn. It's simple. RoboMower will automatically depart from its charging station on the days and at the times you have scheduled, mow your lawn, and return for charging. It's convenient. The RoboMower gives you free time for other more productive things. RoboMower is an advanced battery-powered electric mulcher, making it environmentally friendly as well. Patent RoboScan technology determines an accurate mowing pattern for the entire lawn, including mowing along the edges. There is no pre-programming necessary. It works so quietly that it can even be used at night. Your RoboMower mulches the lawn and buries the small clippings into the grass, creating a natural, healthy soil nutrient while eliminating the need to collect the clippings. Friendly Robotics is devoted to developing home robotic products that liberate people from routine chores. It mows, you don't. It is important to read and understand all operating and safety instructions in the manual before operating RoboMower. Setup RoboMower comes fully prepared. Only a few easy tasks need to be performed in order to enable its operation. All the accessories needed to set up the RoboMower on your lawn are supplied with the product. First, remove the power pack to allow easier lifting of the RoboMower from the box. All other accessories should now be taken out of the box. The following accessories are included with the RoboMower. Power pack, perimeter wire, robo ruler, operating and safety manual, CD. In the charging station box you will find the base, cover, power supply, fence, wheel supports, stakes, and pegs. Charging station location. The first step is to determine the best location for the charging station on your lawn. Set it up on the biggest plot or zone. It is recommended to place the charging station in a shady spot in the backyard where it is not visible to the street. Do not place it on a slope or too close to a corner or sprinkler. The distance between a receptacle and the charging station is limited. If the distance is too far, contact a local qualified electric professional to install a power source within the specified distance. Perimeter Wire Setup Please refer to the Perimeter Wire Setup chapter in your Operating and Safety Manual for more details. Starting at the charging station location, uncoil the perimeter wire and lay it loosely along the lawn edges. Be sure to leave enough wire at the beginning where the charging station is located. Start setting the perimeter wire by placing pegs every few meters at the lawn corners. Use the robo ruler provided to set the correct distance from the lawn edge as shown. Upon hammering the peg to its final depth in the ground, pull the wire tight. It is essential that the peg's head is hammered below ground level. Use the entire length of the robo ruler as wall edge, as shown. Remember that you will want to test the wire setup before you fill in additional pegs. Use the robo ruler for accurate placement of the wire when bypassing obstacles at the lawn edges. When the edges of obstacle are too low or too soft to be detected by the RoboMower bumpers, use the perimeter wire to create a perimeter island around the obstacle. Both wires leading to the perimeter island should be parallel and touching. Apply the same method for flower beds, young trees and ponds. 
Areas with obstacles grouped closely together should be covered by a single perimeter island, or if they are close to the edge of the lawn, leave them out of the designated area. In large lawns, you can add wire using the wire connectors provided with the product. Strip one and a half centimeters, half an inch of each wire ends together, twist the stripped ends together, and screw the silicon filled wire nut on the twisted ends. Make sure it is tight. After pegging the wire all around the lawn, join the beginning and the end wires. Completing the wire setup. The last step to complete is attaching the perimeter wire ends to the charging board. There are two loose wire ends. Use the same peg to fasten these two perimeter wire ends down to the ground and twist them. Cut them in equal length, minimum length of 8 inches, 20 centimeters. Strip back quarter of an inch, 6 millimeters of insulation from each wire end. Insert each perimeter wire into hole of connector using a small, flat screwdriver. Tighten these two screws to secure the perimeter wires into the connector. Thread the wires through the center aperture in the base. Charging Station Assembly Assemble the drive wheel supports and secure with the two screws. Assemble the fence. Position the charging station with the fence facing to the interior of the lawn. Lay the power supply cord from the charging station to the area of a receptacle in the safest route. The cord should be secured and you must avoid the hazard of tripping over it. Caution! Do not connect the power supply to the receptacle at this point. Connect the green connector to the charging station board. Assemble the cover to the charging station base and secure with the two screws. Testing the perimeter wire loop. Connect the power supply to the receptacle. Using a hammer, drive only two stakes at the rear part of the charging station in order to test the charging station position. If the green light is flashing and no other light is on, then the loop setup is okay. Multiple zones. It may be necessary to set up more than one zone in order for your robomower to work effectively over the entire lawn. Having two or even three zones does not affect the efficiency of the robomower. Where grass areas are not contiguous or are separated by fences or other objects, it is also recommended to make each of these a separate zone. Typical three plots setup solution. Locate the charging station at the backyard and wire all around the three zones as one loop. RoboMower will take care of the dock zone automatically using the weekly program. To mow the front zones, simply steer RoboMower to the desired zone and press the green on button on your RoboMower. Wires leading to the next plot are parallel and touching. The gap between them is for illustration only. Another option for this very same lawn is to have two separate loops. First, locate the charging station and wire the backyard as your dock zone. The front zones will be operated using a perimeter switch. You may purchase it as an accessory. Mount the perimeter switch on a wall or on its stake, making sure it is vertical to the ground. If there is no physical barrier between the back and front yard or part of the front yard and the path is wide enough for Robomower to move freely from one to another, the front yard may be included in the dock zone. The entire dock zone will automatically be mowed on the days and times you schedule. Zone B is looped separately and the perimeter wire will be activated using the perimeter switch. Testing the wire setup. 
Prior to testing the wire setup, the following steps are required. Take the power pack and insert the fuse, as noted in the instruction sheet. Insert the power pack into its compartment and the robo mower will wake up. Take the manual controller out of its cradle and steer your robo mower to a flat part of the lawn. Return the manual controller to its cradle. Press the green button for operating the robo mower. The display will change to set country. Follow the guided process until your robo mower will complete its one time calibration. It will rotate slowly in a circle, pausing from time to time. Charging Station Position Position your robo mower towards the perimeter wire at least 10 feet, 3 meters before the charging station. Insert the manual controller back into the holder. Press the upper scroll arrow on the manual controller once for the message Go to Dock to Display and then press Go. Follow your robo mower and confirm that it docks properly into the charging station. This is done by assuring that the two metal contacts of the robo mower make full contact with the metal contact plate. If necessary, slightly move the charging station. Once the test is completed and you are satisfied with the charging station position, finish driving the five stakes, securing the charging station into the ground. Position robo mower towards the wire immediately after the charging station or along any edge in a non-charging zone and choose the go to dock option. Mowing motors will not activate. Walk along the side of robo mower while it is following the edge. Reposition the wire along each section where a change needs to be made and test the edge mowing once again. Repeat this process for the entire edge until it can complete the perimeter without striking any object and you are satisfied with the cutting distance over onto adjacent level areas. Once complete, Walk back along the perimeter and add in wire pegs to those areas of the wire where it is not pulled down below the level of the grass tips and close to ground level. Mowing Height Adjustment Caution! Remove the power pack before any settings. Set mowing heights according to your grass condition. Turn the front wheel in order to select one of the six height options. There's also an option to adjust the robo mower ground clearance by changing the position of the handle located at the rear part of the battery compartment. Setting the weekly program. Insert the power pack to schedule a weekly program and forget about maintaining your lawn. Enter the weekly program menu. Scroll to the day you wish to program and follow the guided procedure. After setting the weekly program, you will be required to set the current day and time. Operation Your robo mower will depart from its charging station at the days and times you have scheduled. Depending on how you lay the wire, your robo mower will precisely cut the edge of the lawn avoiding obstacles. After mowing around the edges, robo mower will turn left into the lawn and continue mowing in a triangular pattern across the lawn. Upon reaching the lawn edge, it will stop and change direction in proportion to mowing line's length. The perimeter wire set around the tree's flower bed as a perimeter island will stop Robomower from entering this area. 
The robomower will mow around all kinds of obstacles since it changes the triangular direction whenever it hits a side perimeter wire. Firm objects will be recognized by the bumpers and do not need to be placed within perimeter islands. The robomower will continue doing sets of triangles in different directions until the end of its designated work time. Good-looking lawns are achieved by operating the robomower frequently. There are various other advanced features. Please refer to your operating and safety manual for additional information. Manual Depart This mode can be used in addition or instead of the weekly program and allows mowing at times other than when programmed or mowing when the lawn is occupied and the yard must be cleared of debris, objects, pets or people first. Press the Go button once to mow the edge and the inner area of your lawn or press the Go button twice to skip the edge and mow the inner area only. Manual mowing is useful for small grassy areas where automatic operation is not possible. Always walk behind the robomower. Activate the mowing motors by pressing the C button and the manual mow button in this order. When the mowing motors start, let go of the C button and steer your robomower using the navigator. Releasing the manual mow button will stop the mowing motors. Apply pressure in the direction you want to steer. Now you are ready to enjoy your free time while your robomower looks after your grass. Your lawn will automatically be mowed quietly and accurately. It mows, you don't. And here are some safety tips. Never let robomower operate without supervision. Always remove the power pack before lifting robomower or attempting any service or adjustment. Be sure to read the operating and safety manual. Keep children, pets and bystanders outside of the cutting area. Never leave robomower untended while operating. Do not sit or ride on the robomower. Remove objects from the cutting area that can be thrown by the blades. Keep hands and feet away from the robomower while operating. Automatic mowers, like other power tools, may be dangerous if used improperly or if safety instructions are ignored. Read carefully and follow all safety instructions in the Operating and Safety Manual. For more information, see the Operating and Safety Manual. You are also welcome to visit our website at www.friendlyrobotics.com.